What's up everyone, Patrick here. Welcome back. Moving on to the next question. This is another chain rule thinking type of question. It's a little bit unique. So if g of x equals f of x squared and f prime x is equal to x plus two over x minus three, we gotta find what g prime x is gonna be, an expression for g prime x. So the way you wanna do this here is if we have f of x equals f of x squared, like this, then what's g prime x going to be? Well, it's going to be the derivative of this. So notice we have to use the chain rule because we have a function x squared within another function f. So it will be f prime of x squared times 2x, like that. Now, we're told that the derivative of f of x f prime x is equal to x plus two over x minus three. We're given that. But notice here, we got f prime of x squared. But if we know f prime of x equals x plus two over x minus three, all we got to do for this is plug in the x squared for the x's there. So if f prime x equals this, that means f prime x squared is gonna be x squared plus two over x squared minus three, like that. And then I got to just take that expression and then plug it in here. And then I could take the 2x, multiply it out here with the numerator. This is like 2x over 1, then 1 multiplied by the denominator. And let's just keep it factored up top. So we'd end up with that as an expression for g prime x. That would be the answer right there. All right, and you always want to check can you factor further? Uh, but the x squared plus 2, you can't factor that. And then x squared minus 3, that's not going to factor into smooth terms because you want to factor just in case things continue to simplify further, in case things will um, cancel out, factors will cancel out. But in this case, nothing cancels out. So this is the final answer, the final expression for g prime 